customer cares about <coughs> and where I stand competitively on that particular issue. Anytime you go into a piece of business in which you're going to have to spend some time negotiating, attack high value, high barrier, create a competitive map. The list of variables Adam was talking about, the list of things, right? The, the, all the variables that go into a sale, service, price, all the things that go into that sale. I come up with a list of them, all the variables. I rank them based on importance to the customer. And then I go ahead and I determine whether I am competitively advantaged, neutral, or disadvantaged. Am I making sense so far? Okay. Now, I'm almost done, I promise. The things that are not important to the customer, don't talk about. Even if I win at them, how many sales have been lost because some blowhard salesperson keeps talking all about all the awesome crap that we have that is so much better than our competition, but the buyer doesn't care about any of that stuff. Stryker said care about it. It's on page one of the pamphlet. But if the buyer doesn't care about it, I ain't talking about it. Even if I'm better than my competition at it. So ignore everything that is low priority to the customer. Ignore it. The things that are high priority to the customer, those are the things that I have to address. I'm going to hit them real fast. We'll talk more about it tomorrow. If I am competitively weak, it's important to the buyer, and I'm competitively weak, that's the hard part, right? One of the things we try in sales is we try the eclipse method. The eclipse method is I talk all about, all about, all the time, completely and totally focused on what I'm good at, better than my competition at, and is important to the customer. So by talking about this over and over and over and over and over again and not talking about anything else, I'm going to eclipse, y'all follow the metaphor now, right? I'm going to eclipse what I am negative at. You ever, you ever seen an eclipse? The moon goes across the sun, right? And it eclipses it just for a second, so you can't see the sun, right? Just for a second, right? But then what happens after a couple seconds? The, the, the moon and the sun comes back out, and you can see the sun again. The eclipse method doesn't work because while you're standing in front of that person and you're spitting at them about all the awesome stuff you got right here and you're hoping you're going to Jedi mind trick them into forgetting all that stuff, as soon as you walk out of the room, what do they remember? That. And if they did remember it, guess who's behind you in line to see the surgeon or the nurse, the CFO, right? Your competition's in And what are they going to talk about? That right there. 